Right, so I'm doing a little bit of video of Croston um, discreetly. The oldest pub in Croston is the Lord Nelson. Um, I came here the other night. This was teeming with people over the bank holiday. Looks a real nice old pub though, isn't it? Just been down there. Nothing really down there. I, there's another pub next door. Looks newer, but it's probably old. Called the Wheat Chief. Um, all these houses look pretty old as well. Just doing a little bit. Little restaurant there, Italian restaurant. There we've got that there. That's the wheat sheaf. Back there you've got the Lord Nelson. It's quite a busy village. There's a lot of traffic coming through all the time as well. It's the route to Southport, Preston. Um, something to mark the millennium there, look. I didn't see that the other night. Some sort of big... So it has got this cute little bridge that I'm going to go over in a minute. It's my last day today in Lancashire, so I thought it fitting to do, I started here and I end up in the village really, I've done as much as I can, obviously until Preston go digital, it's very difficult, I'd have to spend weeks in the archives, ploughing through the microfishes. anyway most of them uh, over the last 200 years were we're sort of buried here anyway. Croston Parish Church, just so you can see what's going on and everything. I think this is known as the Village Green here. There is a trail that starts from here, it's following a boot, but it's not very clear. I think you actually need a map really. The Rural Voice Village Ventures Award, it's called there. So, um, this is the village green, this little bit here. And it was packed with people over the weekend. When I came, I came on a Good Friday. I was here for the whole weekend. Right, holiday. Oh. Of course, the prices were dearer in the camping sites as well. There's another one coming up in May. There's the church, and behind there's the little cemetery. Because I got a feeling some of the videos I did earlier didn't come out because I wasn't pressing the button properly. Large village class winner. And here's the river, it could be the Yarrow I think. Going down there, look. I think I might have videoed this before, but I'm not sure if I just took photos. But uh, there's a lot of cars about this, a lot of business going on. There's a place called Yarrow House. It's a bit like Goring type place, where you've got um, where the well to do. There's the old bank there, that building there, because there is supposed to be a, a map. I'm going to try and find a little shop after I've done a bit more videoing, see if I can get a booklet as a souvenir. There's the church there, St Michael's Church, where lots of your ancestors were christened, baptised, married and buried. Right now where I'm going now I haven't been before, not over this bridge, I have been over it but I haven't intended to see where it goes but uh, this I imagine to be the the older part of Croston Zara with a beautiful view of the church there from the back and the houses over this cobbled bridge which probably could have been at risk if, if there was ever any flooding I know I've got photos of this, so when I do a proper video I'll be able to put the photos together with it. 
Then we've got an old looking building there that could have been storage because it's got all those holes in it. But you don't see the footprint, the boot round here either. I should imagine that meanders round somewhere. Um, this might come to the graveyard actually because this is where I was thinking um, I could have come. But never mind, I've, I'm just doing the back areas as well. Get a total view of your ancestral village, Zara. All these little back streets. Keeper's Cottage. There's another little building up there. I don't know where any of this goes. But there's a... Oh, yeah, what's that? It's called the Manor House Farm here. And there's a lovely view of the church. Look at that. Quarter past 11. Manor House Farm. So I'm not quite sure where your ancestors lived. I haven't been able to get on the internet properly to access our data. Um, but this is obviously a little back lane, look. This is where the real village life begins. There's another view of the church. See? I reckon in a minute you'll be able to get into the graveyard. I'm not sure. So many cars, isn't there? Perhaps they park here and walk to the station. So apparently the station's having work done on it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Here we come. We're coming. I'm just taking you round. I reckon people park here to go to the station. I mean, come on. What are they all doing parking down here? Manor House Barn, that is. Obviously a barn once. We just have another quick wander down the cemetery. There's bound to be some in there. I know I've looked. I've located lots of names. I've just got to put names to people. But we started in here when we first came. So we just have another last... Another little look around. There's somebody in front. I don't like videoing people. Um, let's have a look over here. Oh yeah, it's obviously a farm. Backing onto the back. I won't go, actually I don't need to go right the way down there. But, um, you can hear children, there's a school here as well. And that's the cemetery leading all the way along there. All the way up there, you see. People are always very interested. Diana, Princess of Wales, Croston Village, 1961 to 1997. They've obviously remembered her as part of a memorial. It could be better, couldn't it? That's better than nothing. Some people have planted trees for her. Right then, Yarrow Cottage.